Welcome to another Demarcation Media Mega Constructs review. Today we are going to be comparing two sets. We have the Recon Getaway on this side and the Gungoose Gambit on this side. Now there have been three of these like four figure packs. Um, the third, or actually no, I'm sorry, not the third. It would be the second, was the Banished Ghost Hijack. And we're not really going to be considering that set in this comparison right here because it kind of strayed a little bit away from the format that we see here. So we've been getting the like vehicle and we'll get four figures. The Banished Ghost Hijack did that, but the vehicle was different. We had the um, ghost, obviously, and then we had a Spartan instead of like a Marine army builder. And these two sets really just kind of begged for a comparison because this is the same vehicle. Essentially, we just have a different color scheme and the added guns. So the real question here is, is Mega getting better with these four figure sets or did they kind of have a one shot wonder with Recon Getaway? Because Recon Getaway was one of the best sets for army building so far. So what I want to do is I want to go through and compare just kind of one at a time the aspects of this set. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start with the UNSC end of things and see how the two sets compare that way. On the Recon Getaway side, we have two Marines, and on the Gungoose Gambit side, we have one. Now, the Recon Getaway Marines were pretty exciting when they first came out because this was our one of our first tastes of the infinite Marines and how uh, the style would work and all that. And these dudes look absolutely fantastic. This guy right here is still one of my favorite infinite Marines just because the way that they did his head looks really, really good. They have the brownish armor. This guy has shoulder pads. This guy does not. And there's like a bit of print around the helmet. They both come armed. Shotgun, SMG. Knee pads are printed. Now, the big downside for these two guys at this point is the fact that they have the taller legs. So you can see there's a bit of a height difference here. The stands are the same size. And there's a height difference. So that is a bit of a downer here because you'll have army built these guys and then Mega switch to the smaller upper legs and now they don't quite match up. So that's a bit of a bummer. The color schemes are great, but the size is, is kind of a bummer. Now for this guy, he's got the proper size. He's got the color scheme that matches the garrison pack uh, marine with the like covert ops silver. And then he's got like green armor. So the armor colors here are different. There's brown and green. Also, if anybody comments on any of these videos with Marines and says that this groin piece is on backwards, I'm going to like blow my lid because it's not on backwards. People keep saying that, and it's it's been since these Marines came out. Every time there's one of these Marines, somebody says the piece is on backwards. It's really, really not. It's really not. Look. Look on the box. Where Where is he? Dang it, they don't even show it. Let me get the instructions. Where is it? Look, okay? I'm ripping the instructions because... Look, it's on that way, okay? So, it's on correct. It's not on backwards. Anyway, that was a side tangent. Um, Where was I even? The, yeah, the, the armor color. So, the armor green uh, on this side, it doesn't match the armor like brown on this side, which makes compatibility a little bit difficult um there's no knee print for this guy and the visor print is kind of sad like it's really really pale and i looked and uh i think it was podcast evolves review it seemed the same kind of shade of green it's like really really pale so that's a bummer um i'm not sure exactly if either side here is necessarily better like the recon getaway guys are really fantastic looking really polished looking but they're also taller, whereas the uh, Gungoose Gambit figure is not quite as polished, but he fits the scale better, and he also matches with the other, like, uh, Covert Ops figures better. So here, I think it's kind of a opinion thing. Like, do you like this side better? Do you like that side better? It certainly is easier to army build with this side, but you also are army building the taller figures. 
Both sets kind of have their weaker enemy figures. So in the case of the Recon Getaway, that would be a Grunt. In the case of the Gungoose Gambit, that would be a Jackal Sniper. Now, this is not exactly an even comparison because this is just a plain, normal, old Grunt. We've seen them many times and we can always get more. Whereas the Jackal Sniper has a lot of new and exciting things like the arm pieces, the head piece, um, that the fact that we're getting a Jackal Sniper in new articulation for the first time. So the comparison here is pretty, pretty biased towards the Jackal. I would say even just objectively, the Jackal is just overall a more interesting figure and kind of by default, the better figure. So in terms of like army building these guys, you don't want nearly as many as the Grunts. So, you know, maybe the Grunt is better in that respect, but overall the Jackal definitely takes it here and so that's one point in favor of the Gungoose Gambit. So these guys kind of fall on the same level at least that's that's how I see it and when I said fall I didn't mean like fall. So we have our elite miner and then our brute miner both of them are in blue not exactly matching but oh my word what is wrong with this brute he's falling over his leg is popping off just stand there, please. Um, they're kind of, you know, they're kind of very comparable in terms of one, if you want like just a generic enemy figure to stick in a battle with some Marines, either of these will do. They're just different species. So it just depends on if you want more Brutes or if you want more Elites. The Brute is definitely, you know, a little bit more Banished feeling because the Banished are primarily Brutes. Like that's a big part of their forces. And the elite mercenary, <clears throat> I can't even speak. Good grief. The elite mercenary is a really good figure, but he doesn't immediately look banished. Like, he looks more covenant than anything. So, I don't know. Again, this kind of comes down to personal preference, but I would say if you're wanting, like, more banished stuff, then that would definitely be a point for the Gungoose Gambit here. Now, this is where the Gungoose Gambit kind of has some more similarities to the Banished Ghost Hijack because this is definitely a leader figure right here. So, this is not one you want to necessarily army build. This is one that you'd put at the head of other forces. And the Ghost Hijack came with a Spartan who kind of fills the same role in, like, in terms of, like, building a diorama or something. So, that's... The similarity there and this this dude is kind of the odd one out in between the recon getaway and the gungoose gambit just because he is a leader figure and you don't necessarily want a bunch of them which makes army building a little bit more difficult but he is a fantastic figure and it's really good to have some captains to be commanding the various brutes that we've gotten throughout the infinite line so the pattern falls apart a little bit here just because of the position of this brute. But that doesn't make him a bad figure. It just makes it a little bit odd for army building. And it definitely makes the uh, our, our marine from the gambit, his odds of surviving, pretty low. The main build of both sets is obviously a mongoose, or a mongoose variant in terms of the gungoose. So the one from the Recon Getaway is the first time we got to see this new design, the new like suspension turning system, the kind of infinite look for the Mongoose. And then Mega basically took generally the same design and then ported it over to the Gungoose, except this time the hood is a little bit different because we have the guns and so we have a longer like slope here. And... I don't know. I don't think that either one is necessarily better because this one right here matches the recon. I'm sorry, not the recon getaway. It is the recon getaway. It matches the warthog rally. And then this one matches the razorback. So you can have kind of an escort for each one. And it makes sense because look, so this one is just a transport, right? And the warthog is a transport, but it also is armed. The Razorback is just a transport. It's not armed at all. So you'd want your escort to be armed. So it kind of balances out. And I think having a Warthog and two 
mongoose and a warthog and two gungies would be or a, a razorback and two gungies would be really good for dioramas really good for display really good for photos so in this regard i think mega has kept the bar pretty darn high and maybe even raised it a little bit with the gun goose just because of their color scheme i like how they've changed the suspension bars to red it just makes it look a little more authentic yeah and even like side by side these don't look out of place they look like you could have a little convoy of these just the darker color scheme for the gun goose makes it feel a little bit more serious and like it's ready to go head to head with say a brood captain so now we have to answer the question of is mega getting better with these army builder sets or are they getting worse and I would say, honestly, they're they're keeping it consistent and they're raising the bar a little bit at a time. The Recon Getaway was an absolutely fantastic start. It was, it was just perfect. They, they really couldn't have done any better for right off the bat. And then the Hijacked Ghost was a little bit iffy because there was a Spartan in it instead of a Marine of some sort. But it seemed Mega heard what everybody was saying and brought a Marine back in and then gave us some more figures. And there's been a lot of, I don't want to say complaints exactly, but feedback about how Mega gives a lot of the UNSC figures, a lot of human figures, and not quite as many of the enemy figures. So like in terms of like the garrison pack, we got two humans in that set when a lot of people wanted all of the slots to be the enemy figures. So I feel like Mega skewing the numbers more in favor of the enemy side for sets like this works out pretty well because you can army build human figures pretty easily from other sets. So having it evenly split like this set was, was great for a first set, like in, in the first wave, but having it a three versus one works a lot better. In my opinion, I think they should definitely keep up that format with three enemies and one kind of hero figure. Especially if the vehicle is for the hero figure, like the Gun Goose, it just makes more sense that way. So overall, I would say Mega is definitely doing a good job. They're keeping up the kind of innovation with these sets. They're keeping up the kind of high bar in terms of how the build is. And the selection of figures, while it's a little more difficult for army building in this set because of the captain, I don't think that's a deal breaker. I don't think that degrades the quality of the set in any way so i think mega definitely deserves a round of applause here i really hope they continue doing this and i would love to see um this continue into the halo universe line beyond what we've already seen because it looks like the the requiem whatever you call it set the conflict on requiem or whatever it's called that is going to be in the very similar style um of these sets although it does look like they're going to go back to the even split for that one because we're going to get two halo 4 marines and then two elites no one elite and a grunt i think and then a, a ghost so maybe they're just going to flip flop it but yeah i definitely would say they're doing a great job i also would say mega please don't ever skew the numbers in these sets towards the humans favor like don't ever give us three marines and one uh, one brute or something like that or one grunt don't ever do that keep it either even numbers or more enemies than heroes thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and consider subscribing and i'll see you next time